Dear children, welcome back to the EVS class. Now let's see reader lesson number 14. People who help us. People who help us. Here warm up. Number the pictures in the correct order. Here you have to give the number. We cannot do everything on our own. Some people help us at home. Some people help us at school. Different people at different places help us in one or many ways at school at school teachers help us to learn new things a housekeeping person keeps the school neat and clean a gardener takes care of the plants he or she makes the school look beautiful a watchman guards the school a bus driver drives the school bus. At the hospital, doctors and nurses look after us when we fall sick or hurt ourselves. The doctor gives us medicines when we fall ill. At the market, at the market, a green grocer sells fruits and vegetables. A grocer sells grains, pulses and other small things of daily use. A wrapper sells cloth. We take a torn shoes to a shoesmith who mends it. A tailor stitches clothes for us. A carpenter makes furniture that we use at home. At the post office, a postmaster is the head of the post office. People at the counters sell stamps, envelopes and postcards. Postmen bring letters to our homes and offices. At the police station, the police help us to be safe in our homes and the streets. The traffic police help us to be safe on the roads. At the fire station, a fire station is a building where fire engines are kept. A firefighter helps to put out fire in case of an accident. Other helpers in the neighborhood. There are many other people who help us in our neighborhood. A delivery or courier person delivers things to our doorstep. A mason builds houses and other buildings. A milkman brings fresh milk to our homes. An electrician repairs electrical things. We should thank the people who help us in different ways. They are very important to us. We must treat them well. Here, match the helpers with the things that belongs to them. Here you have to match the helpers. So dear children, uh, read this lesson, lesson number 14 and underline the difficult words and write in your rough notebook and learn to read the lesson properly. Okay, thank you.